welcome back to my channel and to the best type of video. Today we're going to be cleaning, organizing, decluttering my kitchen. Some of you will know we got a new kitchen a few months ago, but I haven't actually organized the drawers. They're actually quite messy and we still have quite a few things in our garage from when we renovated. We basically packed up our old kitchen put it all out there. So we're gonna get all of that out, assess everything that we have, and then find the perfect place for everything. And I also have a few really cool like organizational systems that I wanted to share with you as well. So I'll do a little before of what it's like now, and then I'll show you the whole process. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so this is our kitchen. As you can see, we have a ton of storage, so that's good. But the drawers are just a bit messy. We kind of have thrown everything everywhere. So like in here, we've got dog treats, hot chocolate, some cups, backup tea and stuff. Um, this one's a bit more organized, but still like random. And, and yeah, just everything needs like a bit of a sort out. As you can see, like I'm sure we can do that better with the Tupperware, some random things in there. Um, so yeah, basically just gonna get everything out and just see what we've got and where everything should go. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna start out with the dreaded Tupperware drawer. We have so many containers, because as you know, I like to meal prep or batch cook whenever I can. We've got lots of things for the kids' lunches as well. So I'm gonna take everything out, give it a good clear out. There's even like some games in this drawer randomly. And while I do this, Matt is gonna get all of the boxes in from the garage, which are from our old kitchen. We had a really good clear out because at this point, we haven't had those things for a year so if we haven't like had to go out and get them we probably don't need them anymore so we had a really good clear out and I should probably say that when we designed this kitchen we really did think long and hard about the storage that we would need we had some really cool like drawer inserts made as well so definitely stay tuned to see them like I can't wait to show you our spice drawer our junk drawer is just an absolute dream as well um, but I think that is really Right at the end of the video maybe I'll do some timestamps so if you do want to go ahead and like look at other things you can um, but now I'm on to the plates drawer we actually love having it in a drawer rather than a cupboard we've had both in the past but I find it really easy to just pull this out and grab a plate so I just quickly tidied that up it wasn't too bad all of our new plates are actually from H&M home and next up I'm moving on to our cutlery drawer as you can see there is so much random stuff in here like hair gel, toothbrushes, toothpaste, but we now actually have storage in our downstairs toilet. So I'm actually gonna move all of that to there. And then I'm gonna take everything out of here, give it a really good wipe down. And then I'm actually gonna flip the insert. You can see we had one made. We actually worked with the kitchen designer to do this um, but ever since it's been in I feel like it's been upside down I feel like as soon as you open the drawer you should be able to just grab like a spoon or cutlery um, but I mean it's just such a small thing but anyway it's been bugging me so I'm gonna give it all a really good wipe down don't know how this got so dirty because everything you put in here is clean um, but give it a good wipe down flipped it around and I think that works much better so that is the cutlery drawer all done and now I'm gonna move on to a very random one which I still don't know exactly how or what I'm gonna use it for in this drawer there is loads of hot chocolate a few baking things dog treats tea cups just loads of stuff so I'm gonna take it all out and try and organize it. Quite a few things need to go into our pantry, which is behind a hidden door. If you haven't seen the kitchen before, I'm really excited to show you the pantry at some stage, but I think that is gonna be a whole separate video because I need to organize that space as well. And I think it's gonna take a little while to source all the containers and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm gonna give this a wipe down. And because we didn't have any inserts, I actually bought these dividers on Amazon. I use them in the kids like clothing drawers and stuff but they're brilliant you can like adjust them to any size and then hold them in place so for now I'm gonna have all of our thermal cups on one side and all of our hot chocolates on the other and then this is our tea and coffee drawer this sits right below the coffee machine so when you open that door it's really easy to just make a coffee you've got everything you need in one place all of like the sugar the tea the teaspoons all of it and we had this insert made um, but it's been quite a few weeks and it's really messy there's sugar and coffee and things that have been spilled 
in here so I'm going to give it a quick like vacuum wipe it down as well and then kind of like restock it uh, we've got some cups which match that we love from Ikea which I'll show you in a sec we have ordered a few more from H&M home but when they arrived they were actually espresso sized so they were really really tiny so we've sent those back and I, I might just get more of these because we really like them um, so we've got some white ones and some black ones and then I've also got room in here for instant coffee, um, the little tea bag sections as well. Matt actually measured like my pucker tea bags to get the inserts absolutely perfect. In the next drawer, I think you're really gonna like because when I shared this on Instagram, I had so many messages from people saying, this is the drawer of dreams. This is storage for the kids' lunch bags and their water bottles as well. Although my kids are getting older, like they're gonna need water bottles and stuff for a very long time. They play a lot of sport. They need them for school as well. Um, and we still like use water bottles around the house as well. So anyway, I always struggle to store them. Them. you guys know I used to have this clear plastic storage which they would like sit on their side but then I found it difficult to store the tops so anyway we had um, our kitchen designers actually measure the average water bottle and then come up with this system so there's room for all the water bottles on one side and then there's room for all the lunch bags on the other and honestly this just makes me so happy it's so convenient and easy for the kids to grab them as well so really pleased with that um, here's some footage of Matt bringing in all of the stuff from the garage these are all of the boxes that we put out there um, when we actually started the renovation when they knocked all the kitchen down and stuff there are cleaning products in here there's lots of pots and pans, more Tupperware, etc. So we're gonna go through, have a good clear out, and then find places for everything. As you can see in our kitchen, we have a ton of storage. So there is gonna be space for everything, but we really wanted it to, you know, sort of be very organized and have a place for everything. So we're just gonna go through that now. I also really wanted to show you our under the sink storage because I'm so pleased with it. We had these wooden baskets put onto the kitchen cupboard doors and it works so well for easy access to products and things that you use a lot. Say if I just wanna grab like the surface spray, I just open up the cupboard and it's right there and I really like it. Obviously we worked with our kitchen designer to make these but you can buy wired versions on Amazon that you can just nail on yourself. And you may remember from years and years ago in our old kitchen, I used to have like wired spice racks on the inside of our cupboard doors and that worked really well as well. So maybe I'll link a few options below if you wanna check it out. And then under the sink itself, at the moment I'm using baskets. I've also got a Lazy Susan for a few cleaning products and stuff like that. You can get great under the sink storage that actually gives you um, like different levels. But at the moment, I don't think I need any more um, space than we already have, so I'm quite pleased with that. Then this end cupboard, um, this was Matt's idea I think to put like glass doors on it and make it a bit more of like a visual display so in here we're gonna put like all of our casserole dishes maybe some fancy bowls and things like that but I haven't actually wiped it out since it got put in so it was quite dusty so I'm just giving it a good clean and then at the end of our breakfast bar we also have this set of shelves again on show so I really only want to put things on here that look nice so I'm going to display a few um, bits of crockery again these are actually from H&M home they're kind of like platters and bowls that you can use for entertaining so I'm going to place them there and then I got these baskets from Primark which I thought would be great for like a place to chuck your keys or like a few things that like you can kind of hide them in those baskets so that hopefully that area will still look nice and clean then i'm just going to put all of our casserole dishes in here 
These ones are from M. Bridgewater and I really like them. And that is this one all done, but I really want to take the stickers off of those platters. It's funny how you notice things when you're editing sometimes. Um, but now anyway, I'm going to move on to the pot and pan drawer. You'll see we have a lot of drawers in this kitchen when we were thinking about what we really wanted because we were redoing it all. We actually thought having drawers is so easy to see everything um, rather than lots of cupboards. So anyway, I'm going to space everything out as much as I can because they're quite large. So I've got our pots, I've got my always pan. I get a lot of questions about that. I do really like it, but I do find it difficult to clean as well. And then I'm also going to put a wok down here, a lot of our strainers and bowls and things like that. But those ones are all done, looking super organized. Um, in the top drawer as well, I should have shown you, we just have tea towels. And then this is actually under our island, but it is kind of where all the chairs are. So it's a place that can be difficult to access if people are sat there. So in this cupboard, I'm gonna put things that I don't use all the time. So like my big, chili pot I'm going to put in there because I only really get it out when I'm meal prepping and I'm also going to put a lot of like cake tins and baking things as well like in terms of decorations um, that's like a cake board cooling racks stuff like that and I have this huge Lazy Susan from the home edit I got it in John Lewis it holds so much stuff you might remember this from our old kitchen but I'm going to load it up with our cookie cutters sprinkles decorations we've got like chocolate molds for the kids ice lolly molds just loads and loads of stuff Caleb came over to see what I was doing um, so yeah I'm just gonna fill that up and I'm actually going to put that in that space um, underneath the island I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better I just realized I'd been voicing over the whole thing and you might want a little bit of music so there you go but I was organizing just a lot of the cupboards using lazy Susans because I find them so easy to just spin things and find what I need now I'm doing the spice drawer I got this little insert on Amazon it kind of like tears them um, and I actually didn't bother like decanting anything or relabeling because I really like the Sainsbury's packaging so I put all my spices in there and I just feel like it's 
just it looks so aesthetically pleasing I did have a good clear out I looked at all of the dates on our spices and I couldn't believe how quite a few of them had actually gone out of date um, so anyway now I wanted to show you this cupboard next to the oven we have two like this one either side on this side I'm gonna keep oils salt and pepper um, any sauces um, like my favorite Worcestershire sauce in here anything you would use for cooking for sauces and stuff but I actually ordered these fancy oil containers on Amazon and I love them they're the kind of thing now that I have them I was like why have I never had these before they come with these really cute um, like oil tops I think you can buy them separate as well because they do actually fit onto a lot of the oils themselves so you don't even have to decant them change them you could just stick a top like this on them um, and then it's really easy to just use your oil like throw it in the pan I feel like a proper chef with it like this and it's right next to the oven and I'm just finding it really Really handy so yeah I'm just using a funnel to put some olive oil in one I've got vegetable oil in another and then I've just got my sesame seed oil as well so I'm gonna put all of that back in there I've given it a good wipe and I should mention my outfit keeps changing because I actually did this over the course of like three or four days our kitchen was just a mess and I kind of just had like an hour here or there where I could organize so it did take me a bit of time because I didn't really have the time this week to like dedicate a full day to it I'm also using lazy Susans I was like will they fit next to each other but they didn't um, for sauces for stock and also I've got a whole one for like different vitamins um, and things like that for me and the kids then this area over here is our bar it's kind of to the left of our kitchen I don't think I showed you when I start this video we had the space so we decided to put this in for when we entertain and we got some great glasses again from H&M home we're really pleased with them so we've got cocktail glasses wine glasses beer glasses champagne flutes as well so I've kind of wiped everything down and organized it we've also got some champagne left over from Matt's birthday so I've got that in there and we had a splashback mirror put up as well it's more of like an antique mirror this time compared to our old house but really pleased with how fancy this area looks and i also wanted to show you our storage for bags tin foil cling film stuff like that i shared it on instagram and everyone really liked it and i just got it on amazon so it's these wooden storage containers for things like your sandwich bags snack bags freezer bags etc you can organize them based on the size of your drawer but these ones happen to fit really well in ours so I've got those and then I've also got a space for or I've got a few plastic bags there and I also have a space for the parchment paper cling film tin foil as well and yeah I'm really pleased with it so I'll link it down below and then the two drawers underneath that are snack drawers for the boys I always have snacks like within easy access for the kids especially in lockdown I found like I felt like I was fetching snacks to them all the time and they always do ask if they can before they just take one so I'm not too worried about them just like going crazy with it um, but in here I've got some clear containers which again I got from the home edit in John Lewis and um, they're great for crisps and stuff like that so I'm just gonna fill it up with crisps popcorn Barney Bears, Crackers, Belvita Biscuits, all of their favorites really. And then it's easy for them to access and it's also great when I'm making their snacks or lunches for school as well. So that is looking a little bit more stocked up and organized. And then finally, I really wanted to show you our junk drawer. I should have put this up front because I'm so pleased with it. I'm gonna give it a wipe down, but again, we had an insert made for this. Matt measured like how big a pen is and then generally how many would we want. We've always had a junk drawer. Please tell me you guys do as well. You just need it for all the things. So in ours, I'm putting like labels for the kids, uniform, every type of battery you could ever possibly need for a toy <laughs> we've got masks straws our fresh up i've actually been using these a lot for our new furniture because we've had quite a bit coming in i've got stamp labels for the kids matches as well sellotape um pens i've got sharpies 
I've also got a bleach pen in there, AirPods. I've kept this out because Remembrance Day is coming soon. Tissues, paracetamol, um, super glue, often need that. <laughs> and then I've got last minute like touch up makeup for when I'm filming, birthday candles and every kind of screwdriver you'd ever need for a toy and a torch as well. And we even have a few compartments still available for stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the kind of thing we keep in ours and it's just a great like place to put everything. We've got Matt's onion goggles as well. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.